In the blue skies above Florida, the shuttle Discovery glided into land. Kennedy Space Center's landing strip came into view for the last time after a 27-year career. In that time, Discovery carried the first female pilot and the oldest astronaut, John Glenn. It became a symbol of NASA's perseverance when it became the first shuttle to go back into orbit following the Columbia and Challenger accidents. I mentioned it's a pretty bittersweet moment for all of us. It's, uh, as the minutes passed, I'm getting actually getting sadder and sadder about this being the last flight. And I know, I know all the folks involved in the shuttle program feel the same way. The six crew had spent an extended 13-day mission linking up with the International Space Station. Discovery is now destined for the Smithsonian Museum. Its 39th mission had completed 365 days in orbit, traveling over 238 million kilometers. Discovery was named after a wooden sailing ship that reached the South Pole in 1901, somewhere in view in these last pictures of her final orbit.